Alright, it's time for episode 2 of Spy Fox and Hold the Mustard. We've got to take down Keen Conglomerate, which is seriously the best part of this game. We're going to load the game. We're on the Mediterranean Sea, level 6. Good night, Metal Lord. Thanks for joining in. Alright, i got to remember how to play, so we just move around with this. That's right, left click to shoot. Oh, I love the music here. This is giving me Freddy Fish 4 music vibes, which is good. Like the sinister country music. Here we go! Looks like things are getting a little messy. Ha 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 ha. Because we're flying the spy mess. <laughs> I just want. So, Spy Fox, why did you decide to become a spy? I just like shooting things. <laughs> it's so much fun. But they are kind of picky about you doing that if you're not work for if you don't work for some form of the armed services. No, you're not stealing the tomatoes. They're actually stealing tomatoes because it's just way too exp produce is too expensive these days. Where we, can we can't afford it. But we need these for our BLTs. You expect them just to make these without tomatoes? What kind of a loser would do that? <laughs> Artie would, sir. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like raw tomato. I like cooked tomatoes. But raw tomatoes, nah, they don't they don't work for me. They have like a weird flavor comb combined with acidity, whereas if you cook them, it mellows the flavor out and makes them a lot better. I hate it when the last enemies are like, oh, they're all underwater. Level complete. Yes, very nice. We, we've boosted our high score. This is wonderful. Spy Fox, Mobile Command has picked up a large blip on the radar. It appears to be in the water following the tanker. Be careful, Spy Fox. Ooh, new challenger has approached. It's like Smash Bros. Do I use yellow must? No. I... I... I enjoy mustard, but not yellow mustard. Yellow mustard's a no-go for me. I like the spicy mustards and, like, the whole grain mustards. I did not realize that was two guys on top of each other. I don't go for that kind of crowd. Alright, bye, Fox. Let's just blast everybody under the sea, like that Little Mermaid song said. <laughs> we don't speak of that, Quack. <laughs> Oh no, it was a- oh, maybe those guys- It was another two- Oh my gosh, there keeps being two of them on top of each other, I hate it. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep an eye on the air meter. But it's boss time. <laughs> Shoot the submarine, Spy Fox. There must be some way to get in there. I wonder if shooting the jaw would unhinge this situation. I was doing that until you started talking, which impl- Uh-oh. Quack, I'm about to run out of air. I can't breathe. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Spy Fox, make sure that you actually go up to breathe from time to time, because you don't have gills. Well, this is weird, because I'm in a submarine. You'd think there would be enough air to last for more than this. Oh yeah, boss time! Okay, that was I like <laughs> I hope we have more boss fights. That would be great. Yeah! Something's fishy about this sub. Ooh, we're inside the submarine now. That's really cool. Alright, let's uh Wait, are we invincible? I can't tell what's solid and what's not. Something's fishy about this sub. Yeah, no kidding. I, I remember that being a problem in Cheese Chase as well. Okay, the green Spy Fox logos are mean invincibility. That's good to know. That mess just took a bit of a hit. Oh, maybe I can shoot this. Ah, that's it. Ouch! Quack, do we have any backup submarines? <laughs> Spy Fox, we only have one more, so maybe you could stop crashing them into the cockpit. It's not my fault. These all look like they can be driven through, or they all look solid. 
Have you tried getting good, Spy Fox? This is why I haven't invited you to my lethal company lobbies. You're too bad at the game. logo seems familiar. That logo is from King Conglomerate Condiments and Technologies, Inc., the world's largest maker of fine mustards. It must be his industrial robot stealing tomatoes. The tomato tanker is safe for now, but we are getting reports of tomato stealing robots further inland. All right, so that's where we're discovering the plot level complete. Boop -de -boop. Oh, did we end the stream last time? Right? Oh no, we're oh Mediterranean farms. Yeehaw! We're going to the farm. You hear that, Marky? I don't think it's Dubois Farm, but all right. No nah, way. This is this is good. <laughs> this is so weird. After a game of Marky disappointed us in baseball, we come home to the farm and look in the sky and see that some kind of alien invasion. <laughs> well, this that beats all. I told you aliens were real, but you didn't believe me. Just because they weren't mentioned in the Bible doesn't mean they don't exist. <laughs> alright, alright, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Marky's, Marky's farm, maybe. <laughs> Wait, does that mean that Marky lives in the Mediterranean area? <laughs> what, did you assume we were American? That's stereotypical. <laughs> For shame. Come on, let's play the Space Invaders. Pretty sure backyard baseball being, you know, baseball America's pastime takes place in the United States. Spy Fox, well, the mustard though is taking place in the Mediterranean. Hey, get back here! You're not taking off with those tomatoes. No such luck today. Time to blast them out of the sky. We're gonna eventually arrive at a point where it's like, I've played every humongous entertainment game. <laughs> Except Water Worries. <laughs> it's gonna happen. There we go. Level complete! Okay, so that was weird. Mediterranean Sea had seven or eight levels in it for the world, which is weird. It's normally round... It's normally round numbers like five or ten. Yes, very good. We got 11,000 points. That's great. Love how the Mediterranean farms are literally just like pure yellow. <laughs> zap him out of the sky. Zap him out of the sky. Carry the seven. Round to the nearest five. And here we go. Let's go into outer space, Marky. <laughs> I hope the Du Bois don't mind that we're blasting guys and the uh, remains of them and their shrap metal is definitely falling onto their farm. Nah, we can turn it into a museum. <laughs> Get those big holiday bucks. Oh! <laughs> Spybox, did you almost run into the barrier again? Um. Leading question, Your Honor. <laughs> They're literally going underground to... Come on! We're growing those tomatoes! We need those to make a living, you know. Bring those tomatoes back. You hear me? Nobody makes finer, fresh tomatoes than the Dubois family. It's been in the family for generations. Just like... <laughs> it runs in our bloods, just like baseball. At least until Mark showed up. <laughs> spy Fox! I remind you to be careful with the spy mess. <laughs> we only have one of those left. <laughs> Oh, do it, quack. <laughs> oh, was that a tomato pun? No, I just botched saying the word stow it. <laughs> I like to imagine just, like, in the background, the extra life system is literally just quack, like, I know Spybox is gonna screw this up. I better make some backup messes for him. <laughs> that's, that's my head cannon. Spy Fo Quack just does not have much faith in Spy Fox's abilities to uh, preserve the spy mess. 
I saw him play Cheese Chase. He died like 800 times on that one carnival in the clouds level. Quack, that level was unfair and fake. It had fake difficulty everywhere. I beat it on my first try. <laughs> I don't think anyone beat that level on their first try. <laughs> Hand over those tomatoes. Stealing is wrong. Don't you know that? How much money is King Conglomerate investing? This is... How many spaceships is he sending to the Dubois farm? Like, each of these would cost millions to make. This plan's not even well thought out. Just because there's no ketchup to eat doesn't mean people automatically gravitate towards mustard. They could go to Sweet Baby Ray's or A1 Steak Sauce or Chick-fil-A Sauce. You can buy bottled Chick-fil-A sauce in the grocery stores now. No! No, doggone it! <laughs> that tomato's gonna squash. Thanks for joining, Eddie, and have a good rest of your night. Do -do -do, Mediterranean Farms, level 4. Alright, where's it at? Also, as far as I can tell, right-clicking doesn't do anything in this game. At least not yet. Ooh. Spy Fox token. No, I don't think I'm letting you go down to Earth. I don't want you to steal any more tomatoes than have already been stolen. Might as well get topped off. Ouch! <laughs> That's gonna leave a mark. Well, at least he's not destroying them outright. Oh no, tomato thieves. Marky, are you aware that the farm has a swimming pool now? <laughs> I don't remember that being part of the original business plan of the Du Bois farm. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know what that red gauge on the left side within, like, the fuel and air meter is. Is that like backup fuel if you run out? That could be hit. Oh, that did! Spy Fox, are you low on health again? <laughs> you know what, Quack? <laughs> I, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I might be in a little bit of a mess right now. <laughs> well, of course you're in a mess, Spy Fox. I want to know if it's a little literal or metaphorical one, though. Oh, we get that guitar riff when there's only one enemy left. That's that's interesting. All right, our total score is going up, up, up. Oh, good. Quack made us an extra spy mess. After watching our performance, he's like, ah. This is going to be necessary, isn't it? Oh! We are shooting homing missiles now. That's pretty clutch. Is that because we picked up the yellow marker? Oh no, they're those th those fiends. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Oh, dude. It's so much more fun to play with the missiles. You don't even have to aim. This feels like I'm using one of those junior helpers. Notice that you're young and bad at the game. Do you want to get infinite lives? <laughs> no. I'll just continually reset over and over again like a man. Spyfox, how did you miss when you had homing missiles? Oh, we don't have homing missiles anymore. We ran out. <laughs> did you think those really had infinite ammo? <laughs> that was all the homing missiles you got for the whole game. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what the? Is it going on, Spyfox? I wasn't going to steal tomatoes, really. I don't care. I shoot down every ship. <laughs> Indiscriminately. I gotta, the guitar songs really do make this game. If there was no music, this game would be phenomenally boring. I might have to add... I actually might have to add that guitar song to... 
my this one. I might have to add this song to my uh, music playlist. I love the country style guitars. Especially the ones that sound like this. I don't know if there's a fi an official name for this particular guitar. There probably is. I love the sound it makes. And yeah, this is actually a rare game. It is easier to play this with the mouse than it is to play it with the keyboard. Which is the plot twist of the century. I'm like, keyboard controls? Yes, please. But no, the mouse is way simpler. Gives you way better precision aiming. And your location doesn't snap. Wait, was that a remix of the... Spy Fox and Dry Serial credits theme? The one that was an absolute banner? I think it was. That plane's just flying up and down. Oh, because that one can't steal tomatoes. It can only shoot us. Oh, the other one's like, I'm getting out of here! Spy Fox is crazy! He doesn't care if there are innocent civilians aboard the aircraft. He just shoots them. <laughs> Level 7 of the Mediterranean Farms. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're getting the same song over and over again, but I actually am totally cool with it. Repetitive music is not bad if the music that repeats is really good. Oh, there's also a Spy Fox token. Lower right, I definitely want to grab that and see, what's, see what it's all about. I still don't know what these tokens actually all do. Oh, I know that one. That one's invincibility. Well, that didn't last as long as I had liked. <laughs> Oh no, tomato thieves! Yeah, this is definitely a slight remix of the credits theme from Dry Cereal. At least that one riff like the da 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 Ho ho ho, Mobius, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Spy Fox Commits War Crimes. <laughs> Granted, all of these ships are trying to steal the tomatoes of the Du Bois farm, but still, we're just like, shoot him down! Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> 19,000? Wow, we're going through a lot of levels today. Probably because I actually know how to play the game now. <laughs> Can we get the homing missiles back, though? That was a really cool power-up. Oh, we get a new song now. But it's still using that great guitar. Oh wait, oh, there is a there is a, a spy gadget on the right hand side. I would love to see what that is. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I don't think so. No, stop trying to steal the tomatoes. These are not yours. <laughs> All right, the homing missiles are back. No, we gotta chase them down. Give us back our tomatoes. Yes, homing missiles for the win. Oh, that's a lot of enemies on screen right now. Wow. <laughs> Returned for whence you came. He said to the tomatoes. Actually, do you get extra points if you let them take the tomatoes and then take them back? Spy Fox is <laughs> is a spy. They, they all commit war crimes. I mean, Spy Fox is normally a good guy spy, but here he's just like, I'm gonna fly around in my super spy-powered airplane and blast everything to oblivion. There's a cargo plane loaded with tomatoes bound for Cairo. 
Spy Fox, you'd better follow along as escort. Oh no, an escort mission. The bane of every gamer's existence. <laughs> All right, Marky. You stay here and watch the farm while it's storming outside. I'm going to drive this cargo plane to Cairo, Egypt. <laughs> No, I think I get extra points for shooting them down and then picking up the tomatoes, as opposed to shooting them down before they can pick up the tomatoes. Which is really weird. You know what else is weird? I did not eat dinner tonight, because I was not hungry for dinner tonight. Uh, <laughs> last night, me and my men's small group went out. We always go out to eat after a uh, small group every week, so there's this really... Oh, we are low on health. There's this really good sports bar right next to the church. So we kind of alternate between going there and Red Robin. The sports bar ha Okay. It has really good food. There is the chicken tender platter. It is obscenely huge. Like, keep in mind, I love to eat, and I can eat a lot. I'm usually a clean plate ranger and, like, eat everything. No, no, no. That chicken tender platter, despite me not eating dinner that night, gave me two meals. And that, that, that that's... No! I was too busy telling a story about the chicken tender platter at my sports bar. I crashed the spy mess. I haven't heard... That is a new excuse on me, Spy Fox. I'll give you that one. Very creative. <laughs> no, like... Okay, they gave you five big tenders and, like, a mountain of fries. For, like... I think 14 bucks. Which, like... $14 for two meals? Considering you're eating out... Like, that's pretty good in today's economy. Red Ramen's o okay, but kind of pricey. Okay. This might, uh, might be controversial. I think Red Robin has the best fries I've ever had at a chain restaurant. I'm a big fan of the big, the thicker the fry, the better for me. And the fact that they are literally, like, bottomless, you can keep getting them over and over and over again at no extra cost. And when you top it with the Red Robin season, oh my gosh, man, like, it... It's so good. So good. Love Red Robin fries. And again, because they're bottomless, you can get your money's worth from them. If you just keep asking them to make you more and more. Ow! Ow! Spy Fox, stop running into the checkpoint barriers. <laughs> they're literally supposed to be there to help you. Oh, yeah. Red Robin is overpriced these days, but what restaurant is it? They have to be overpriced in order to stay in business. With how expensive food is in general. Oh no, he's gonna get away. Not if Spy Fox the War Crimer has anything to say about it. There's a place near you called Buddy's Burgers, Breasts, and Fries, as far as I know, has the best fries in the universe. That is the sign of a good fry if you don't need to put anything on them. Although, when I go to when I go to Ireland this year. I am very interested to try their chips. Because I've they i heard they do really good potatoes in Ireland. I have a friend who went to Ireland, and he's like, the fries there, like, they're incomparable to anything you'd have here. They just taste so fresh. Yeah, fish, oh, I'll definitely be getting fish and chips. I don't even like fish, but I'll be getting fish and chips. <laughs> you can make anything taste better if you fry it. Ow. <laughs> Doggone it. Why is everybody trying to steal the tomatoes from my transport truck? I don't know, Mr. Dubois. Will you miss ketchup on your fries? I never put ketchup on my fries, ever. In fact, I don't use ketchup, like, for anything. I think the last, the I think literally the one recipe in the entire universe that I would use ketchup on, and I probably wouldn't even use ketchup on it now because I would revamp the recipe, is meatloaf. I'm just, I'm not a fan of ketchup. I don't hate ketchup, but like I would never voluntarily put it on anything. There's, there's several foods like that where I'm like, I don't dislike this, but I don't like it enough to go out of my way to add it to my food. Like, if the fries were basically just, like, eating fried air, yeah, maybe... Oh, I was about to run out of fuel. Maybe I would... 
maybe I would add ketchup. Maybe. If they were really just like empty calorie fries. But even then, I would probably just be like, I don't want to eat the fries if they don't taste good. Yeah, ketchup is baby's first condiment. And there's nothing wrong with it. If you like ketchup, good on you. Oh, homing missiles. Yes. Oh, there's another token at the bottom. Nice job, homing missiles. Never cease to impress. I have, I have, in the recent years, discovered that honey mustard is delicious. I've actually come to realize in recent years that mustard can be delicious if you don't eat, like, the French's yellow mustard. Which is the one that was, like, always available at every church potluck. I'm just like, this is not good. It's like, well, yes, that's not good, but that there are way more types of mustard than just that. Boy. Stop stealing the, my tomatoes. Stop stealing my maters. Plain mustard can cure heartburn? Uh, well, I am no, uh, health expert, so I cannot chime in on that. Oh no, we crashed into Marky! Oh, no, 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 we had one backup spy mess. That wasn't the final spy mess. <laughs> you crashed into me, you stupid son of a gun! I'm on my way to Cairo, Egypt! <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense. Okay, I will actually take a refuel here. Because I do not want to run out of fuel on this course. You enjoy good fries of okay? Yeah, see, this is, that's what I call the litmus test. You can tell how good a fry is by how much extra stuff you have to put on it to make it really good. You know a place has good burgers if you can order literally just the bun and the beef patty, that's it, and it's delicious, that's how you know it's a good burger. I'm not saying you shouldn't put extra stuff on it. I put extra stuff on my burger all the time. No! Game over. Doggone it, Spy Fox! <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least we can still load. It's, there are three escort missions? Doggone it. Spy Fox, we just had to take out a bank loan in order to buy make more spy messes, so, uh, you better save those tomatoes and get a reward. <laughs> no, my, my... So, my go-to burger... Because I make burgers, uh, like, from scratch. Which are really good, by the way. I highly recommend. Uh, so, you get a... Oh, ah, I was hiding behind a cloud. I'm like, where is it? So, my burger recipe, so you get beef patty. Cook it in a cast iron. Just on a tiny bit of oil. Uh, coat... You give it a rub of salt, pepper, garlic powder. And a little bit of smoked paprika. So then you cook both sides to your preferred level of doneness. Put it on a brioche bun with A1 steak sauce, lettuce, and grilled onions. You can griddle onions in the leftover beef fat that's left in the cast iron skillet. Oh my gosh. Ch game changer for burgers. Oh, putting regular mustard on your side when you thought it was honey mustard. Oh, that's a sad day. That's a very sad day. See, I think at this point, I'm probably just not going to eat dinner. Just go without eating. If this down here turns out to be an extra life. There's something down here. Is it an invincibility? Yes, it is. Okay. At least it wasn't an extra life. There are some things that are so good I could almost drink it. Like when I ooh, when I make like um, rump roast, the gravy that comes from that rump roast, you could basically drink it like a soup, or eat it like a soup, not drink it. 
Oh my gosh, though. Like, a mixture of beef fat and burgundy wine slow-cooked with, like, beef oh, It's one of the nicest smelling things on God's planet. Speaking of which, I think I might have, like, a top round of some kind in my freezer. I should make that either into pot roast or the rump roast. Because, my gosh, it's cold! <laughs> and I want hot foods. I should probably make, like, every soup recipe that I know. All two of them. If only... <laughs> if I could do cooking streams without having to show my face, I would probably do that. <laughs> or cooking videos. Just be like, hey, here's some... <laughs> if you're on a budget, here are some good meals that you can make for not that don't break the bank too much and are absolutely delicious and not that difficult to make. Also, I'm not cooking in like a this is the pristine kitchen where everything's glistening and white. I'd be like, oh yeah, I've got two day old dishes in the back, but don't even worry about it. <laughs> Ouch. Some people did that, <laughs> like the British guy on the sofa. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, I think that's... I think that would go a long way, especially today. Like, hey, what can you make if you're kind of on a budget? <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best guy for that, because I... I don't want to say I have disposable income, but I, I make a good amount of money. <laughs> I, I would have to wear my Crusader helmet during that, but then I wouldn't be able to taste the stuff. It still also might be too much information. We're still escorting to Cairo? Mark Dubois, come on! Drive faster! Or, I mean, Mr. Dubois. Mark Dubois. Marcus Dubois? Way too slow. This ain't you driving to the church picnic, alright? Like, this, you are under attack by intergalactic, like, space gorillas who are trying to destroy <laughs> your tomato supply. I don't think you grasp the stakes here. Speaking of stakes, one thing I would love to do if I if I truly did have a disposable income, I would love to get Omaha steaks. <laughs> like did that subscription just like every month new steaks and you, like get to cook them in different ways. Oh, that sounds so good. I love steak. See, I, I, knew, I knew you guys. I told you you guys are getting the arty lore. Whenever I play weird, like, one-off Yubaka's entertainment games like this that are pretty repetitive, I can't just talk about the stuff in the game. <laughs> I mean, Egypt... It's in the geographical area of the Mediterranean Sea. Kind of. Okay. What I really want to do... What I really want to do... Doggone it, it's mission six of the escort to Cairo. This must be its own world. I thought this was going to be the boss fight of Dubois Farm, but it's not. It's something else. No, um, what was I going to say? Oh, what I really want to do is I want to, like, move to Texas. In a place that's kind of out in the country, but still has decent internet. And then, like, be good friends with, like, a cattle rancher or something so I can get good deals on, like, really good quality beef. Oh, that sounds nice. But alas, I'm still stuck in Michigan. In my... Well, it's not a tiny condo, but I can't have, like, a full smoker in my condo. There's rules against that in my lease. I want a smoker, though. I, I really want a smoker, man. I already have so many plans for what I... Like, <laughs> I would love to try my hand at making my own smoked pastrami. And then... <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen? If I get my own smoker, I'm gonna go crazy just like, I'm smoking everything. And, like, once I get good quality stuff, that, like, that's what I'm sending my family for Christmas. <laughs> just like, hey, Grandpa, happy 95th birthday. Here, have some pastrami. <laughs> like, that's... Mm. Like, last year I took up the hobby of making jam, and I've really enjoyed that. But this, this, I think, would be like, oh, it would be so good. I'm a bit of a foodie, but I'm not, like, the pretentious foodie. I'm the foodie where I'm like, I care about flavor and texture. I don't really care what it looks like. I care, is it good to eat? Is it filling? Do you get, like, your money's worth for it? 
Not like this, Oh my gosh, I'm used so much of the fan of this restaurant where you have a water menu. You can order water across the world for $30. You get 85 courses, and it costs $1,000 per person, not including the wine pairings. It takes five hours to consume it all, and every portion is a bite size. Wow, that was... The boss fights are the easiest levels out of them all. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I don't ever want to be the pretentious guy. I'm sure I've already been that in some areas. Oh hi! No, let's let's try to find the boss here. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! What are you doing here? Stop trying to intercept me! I'm just writing the wrongs. Ouch! The small targets are the toughest. Okay, I'm not... I'm not normally a fan of jerky. It's too tough. Having said that, like, I went to... I went to, like, a small group event, and, like, the guy... It was being held at, like, some guy's lake house. The guy had homemade, like, I, th I think it was beef jerky. Like, he had smoked it himself, like, seasoned it himself. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I still don't like how chewy it is, but the flavor was phenomenal. That Mr. Fox is going to cause me trouble, it seems. Nevertheless, he cannot possibly defeat my robot single-handedly. There are hundreds of thousands in this half of the world alone, each one programmed to capture the world's supply of tomatoes. Soon, ketchup will be no more, and the world will be bathed in mustard and all its glory. How do you afford these hundreds of thousands of robots? There's a strange signal being broadcasted from within your area. It might be what's controlling those robots. If you can find the source of the transmission, perhaps then it can be shut down. That'll put a stop to these agricultural terrorists and their tomato pilfering. This isn't the final world lookout, already, is it? Penny? Oh, we're now in Egypt. That's cool. We still get the snazzy guitar music. I guess that's a good a spot to end the stream as ever. I mean, we're approaching the hour and a half mark. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Keen conglomerate. I have no idea what his business plan is that he can afford hundreds of thousands of robots, but maybe we'll find out next time. So thanks for joining in, everyone. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed these casual chatting streams like this. Should have I should have stream put that I've been streaming just chatting. Oh, uh, well. Spy Fox Hold the Mustard was an option. Yeah, it's great ch chatting with you all. We'll be continuing Backyard Baseball Season 6 and Spy Fox Hold the Mustard on Friday. And then we'll be continuing Recoded on Sunday. So, hope you guys tune in for that. Otherwise, I wish you all a fantastic rest of your night. <laughs> a warmer climate than I've been experiencing. And God bless everybody.